Buster is talking to a curious goggle wearing kobold. They see this kobold just sitting there having a conversation with Esther. Like, Esther, listen, I was telling them, right? I said, what, what are you talking about? Where do you want me to go? What's happening here? But you know how it is. You know, Lou says you do something, mm -hmm. you, you mm -hmm. go because Lou told you to do something. Oh, it's so good to see you, Wang Doodle. Hi, Monsai. So the next time that happens, let's not almost get stuck in the astral fucking sea. Trion, hey, oh. fine, Trion. Look, you didn't even get any on you. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Brushes off a little bit of stardust off your shoulder. Trion involuntarily licks the spot. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a new friend, Esther? Oh, um, no, this is my old friend. Wang Doodle and I go way, way back. Back. Wang Doodle steps forward and makes a slightly scholarly salute to the group. What are you doing, guys? William H. Wang Doodle. I'm an artificer and artillerist extraordinaire. You build it, I break it. Treon walks up to Wang Doodle and, and really gives him like a very overt once over. Wang Doodle is definitely very fervent about his studies and the idea of anything creating a major breakthrough clearly entices his interest. Are you telling me you, you're using a friend's power to, to run your ship? As a matter of fact, that's exactly what I'm saying. Let's say the arrangement for now is mutually beneficial, but it would be better to find a way to release them sooner rather than later. Effectively, you're doing the extraction, right? You're trying to get them out. Some of that energy, some of that consistency is just gonna get unfortunately lost in the transfer. <laughs> So you want to try to minimize that and try to keep a completely closed system. How did Lou sign off on this? <laughs> Lou is borderline a madman. <laughs> Lou signs off on pretty much anything that gets the problem out of his hair. Yeah, that's why I'm here. William H. Wang Doodle, how you doing? Yeah, sure. I mean, we're going to extract the properties from the stick using the gem and the shard that you got and just kind of put it back into your glaive. Yeah, Ta -da! right. No, take thing from staff, put on glaive. Got it. Stick go bye-bye, glaive go good good. All right, now you're just being patronizing. <laughs>